As here we go. Let us rock and roll. What's cracking, people? Angelic Mayhem here, and welcome to Blaze Rush. Uh, this is a game where you are a racer. Um, you basically, you know, you're going around the track, and as you do, you pick up weapons and rockets in order to uh, shoot your enemies and to propel yourself forward. Um, in terms of the idea of the game, I think it's a really good idea. In terms of the execution of the game, I think it leaves a lot to be desired. So we're going to kind of get into that now. Uh, so basically, uh, career mode is uh, kind of like a massive tutorial where you're going step by step. There's a little bit of a story attached to it. Um, and I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, party is if you wanted to just do it like a multiplayer and, and invite people from across the internet and then you all race against each other. Settings menu is the usual stuff. Controls, rekey bindable, which is always nice. Um, I'm using the arrow keys on the right-hand side. A to accelerate, and then the space bar in order to uh, fire off my weapon. Audio is down. I like the music. I think it's pretty good. Um, you know, the the noise of the game itself, uh, I think, is a little bland. But, you know, uh, you know it's mostly screeching and, and bombs and things like that. Uh, video. Standard stuff, except for this FPS cap, which, you know, 30, 60, that makes sense. If you want to take it to 75, that's about as good as a human eye can go. Why do you have 120, 180, 240? That doesn't make any sense, okay? Unlimited uh, will actually cause your computer to drag, uh, which, you know, I, I don't know. That was a little weird for me, but we're just going to stick with 60. Back out of this, I'm sure you know what credits are, and we're going to go into career mode. All right, so this is, uh, you start way down the bottom here, and there's all kinds of tutorial stuff, and then literally, you start off with literally nothing. The next thing, they introduce an auto gun to you, then flying cars to you, and it's literally step by step. You just go up like this. The story begins uh, somewhere up here. There's a, a, a story. Um, and basically, you are renegade uh, racers who are living on a planet. The government doesn't like you, and they chase you off, and you know, yada, yada, yada. So now you're, you're in the underground racing circuit. All right, so now, uh, problem with this game number one is going to be this menu right here, okay? On the left-hand side, you can see it says mass acceleration handle ability. Um, each car has a different one of these. And as far as acceleration is concerned, it's spot on, okay? But as far as mass and handle ability, I will tell you that uh, in my personal opinion, based on my experience with this game, which has been a little over four hours, uh, it's weak, okay? I, I do not see where mass and or handle ability come into it. All of these cars seem to handle in the exact same way, and you would think that handleability all the way down would cause you to slide, you know, randomly across the track or something like that. You know what I mean? None of that exists in the game. So the best car in the game is the one with the greatest acceleration, which as far as the ones that I've unlocked is this one right here. So we're going to go into it. All right, so here we go. Uh, again, you get this little piece of story, and we are off and running. This is a standard race. It's three laps around. And so now I'm going to tell you about problem with this game number two, okay? And it is this. If you get a good lead going, you see how the camera doesn't pull back? Well, i got to get a better lead going. The, close, the further into the lead you go, the harder it is to actually see where you're going. And eventually, if you get far enough into the lead, you can actually go off the camera, which is ridiculous. So, I mean, literally, the game is trying to handicap you, obviously, because it wants you to continue engaging in warfare. But at the same time, I mean, if I'm doing really well, let me do really well. You know what I mean? Like, pull the camera back just a little bit further. Or even better, make it a trail cam that literally is behind you. And then, you know, you'd be able to say, like, right here. Uh, oh, I hit by a bullet. That's the end of the race. Or a trail cam that, you know, like literally follows in behind you so that you can, um, you know, you can just see where you're going. Like, I don't understand how you can have a racing game where you can't see where the track is. Because, I mean, obviously this, cra this track is just a giant oval, but, I mean, there are other tracks with chicanes and all kinds of stuff like that. Like, I need to know where I'm going. So, that, of all the things that are wrong with this game, I would say that that's the biggest one. And it is a huge pain. A huge, huge pain. Alright, so, let me accelerate this because... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you get all kinds of um, 
achievements and stuff like that and there's all kinds of steam stuff that you know pops up and uh, it's all very exciting uh king of the hill is a race mode where literally the guy who is up front he's the only one who scores points and so the object is to take him out i'm not going to show you that because that's a little bit of a longer race but what i will tell you is that from an ai standpoint that one leaves a lot to be desired um it, it, basically i would say that the the computers spend a lot of time caring for their own and taking you out. So, you know, you would think that the guy who was getting the points would be the one taking the bullets. You know, I'm just throwing that out there. I know, hopefully, I think that this is a combine one, uh, which is a real good... Yeah, it is. All right. So in the background there, you see this device here is what I'm going to refer to as the combine. All right. It is chasing you. And so you have to stay in front of it, but obviously it gets faster and faster until eventually it begins eating people up. The first person to die, whether to fly off the track or to be eaten by the combine, gets zero points. Next guy gets one point, next guy gets two points, so on and so forth. The object is, I think it's 16 or 17 points is the cutoff. So, and, and whoever gets there first wins. As right, so here we go. Let us rock and roll. Uh, again, I'm using the fastest accelerating car. All the top speeds are locked. So we don't have to worry about that. Uh, so now, I have a booster, which when I get the straightaway, I will kick off. And I have a weapon, so we'll do that first. My weapon is a bouncy thing. Oh no, 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 no! Come on. All right, and those were my rockets. Which, sadly, I had to use in order to save myself because I want that. Yes! Go! Arg. Now I'm going to be eaten. There's all kinds of stuff along the edges that, you know, if you bump into, they'll, like, kill you. Or they'll bump you off in a weird way, like, up into the air or something like that. Ah. But literally, like, I have no trouble handling this car. Like, it is not a chore at all. Get off of me. I can. I gotta. I gotta burn it. Hard. There we go. Uh oh. Nice. He propelled me forward. No. <laughs> Not down there. I like the tracks. I think they're really good. I like the graphics. I think they're even better. Um, the audio, the music is nice. The uh, you know the. The sound effects of the race, I, I'm not a big fan, not a big fan. So I generally, I turn those down, but I kind of left them going in the background there. Accelerate, please. Uh, you can only pick up one uh, weapon and one uh, rocket thing at a time. So uh, that's why even though I'm hitting the blue boxes, I'm not actually picking anything up. Give me that. Yes. Oh, it's a good rocket. No. Double no. Normally I'm better at this, I swear. There we go. Get some speed going. Conceptually, I mean, it's fun. It is fun when you're not in the lead. When you're in the lead, it is incredibly frustrating because, you know, by not being able to see where you're going, I mean, that is a massive handicap. Oh, that was good. That was really good of him. And that's basically what you want to do with the weapons. You want to wait for the straightaways for your boosters and then wait for the chicanes for your, uh, for your weapons. Um, it brings you back onto the track in reverse order from where you died. So if you were the first to die, you will be first in line when you get back. I have got to find something quick. And the action side of things is fun. Um, strategically speaking, it's just shoot the guy in front of you, so there isn't anything really... I needed that bad. I think I'm dead. Stop moving things around! So yeah, hopefully this has been a good look at, uh, at Blaze Rush. I hope that you enjoyed the game. Um, and, you know, want to just decide whether you want to pick it up or not. Oh, so that was the end of the race because somebody somebody scored 16. It most certainly wasn't me because I was pretty much dead the whole time. Uh, but there you go. And then there's all kinds of other stuff like, uh, you know, like super rockets and things like that. Uh, goo, where you can literally, like, glue someone to the thing and then the combine comes and eats them up, uh, you know, which is a lot of fun. Uh, so, I mean, again, I really like some of the stuff that they thought up for the game. But, you know... 
um, at this camera thing. It really bothers me. It really does. But, you know, uh, you want to decide for yourself if it's right for you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please click the like button, share it with your friends, or subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this in the future. I'm Angelic Mayhem, and I'll see you next time.